Hi, I'm BXL Spokesmodel. By the end of this video, you will know how to create this depreciation schedule. For any number of assets, for various depreciation methods, for any number of periods, to any model, in about two minutes, the prerequisites are an Office 365 subscription and Microsoft's free advanced formula environment add-in. The advanced formula environment is part of the Excel Labs add-in. We only need it to import the free suite of 5G functions that make this bit of magic happen. After importing the 5G functions, the add-in is no longer required. We have a traditional three-statement financial model. It is for a small startup. The startup requires these assets. Each asset has its own. Acquisition date, acquisition cost, life in years, salvage value and depreciation method. A separate worksheet is ready to receive our depreciation schedule. To get our 5G functions we search for them using Google. Copy the library's web address. Return to Excel and open Excel Labs. Click the modules tab. Click the download from cloud icon. Paste the address we just copied. Optionally, we can keep these functions in a separate module. We now have all the 5G functions we need and no longer need Excel Labs. Returning to our depreciation schedule worksheet, we start by creating a space for our totals. This depreciation schedule can grow automatically to accommodate more assets. Thus, totals should be placed above so they never have to be moved and where they can be easily accessed for inclusion in our three statements. We duplicate our timeline for easier reference. We open a new window to our model so we can more easily link our assets to our functions. Our first 5G function provides our depreciation schedule's labels. One formula in one cell labels all assets. Our second 5G function calculates all that we need for each asset. The function needs to know each asset's initial value, in-service date, and life in years. The function also needs our model's timeline. Optionally, we can provide each asset's salvage value, disposal date, disposal cost, and depreciation method. Our third 5G function provides appropriate row totals. Our fourth 5G function creates the totals we will need for our various financial statements. This function totals each array row where the array row's label contains a specified word or phrase. A simple sum function totals each row, and we are done. In about two minutes, we have created a comprehensive depreciation schedule for any number of assets. One formula in one cell calculates for each period, each assets, capital expenditure, depreciation, book value, revenue from sale of asset, and disposal costs.